would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. So Andy was three days without sight. And neither did he... EPT? And neither did he eat nor drink. So he's not... Okay, so our guy is dying? He, he is here? Uh, after being in a car crash? Or is the car crash someone else then? Because this guy is uh, then not eaten or drank for three days, which means he would be in a real bad shape. Especially being wounded. He would be fucking dead nearly. There are headlights reflected in these retinas. Too long in the tunnels of my island without a bottom. The sea creatures have risen to the surface, but the gulls are not here to carry them back to their nests. I've become fixed, open and staring, an eye turned on itself. I've become an infected leg whose tracking lines form a perfect map of the junctions of the M5. I will take the exit at mid-thigh and plummet to my Esther. What? What? Keep expecting something to jump out at me for some reason. Again with the drawings. frustrating that I don't know what those mean. And it came to pass that as I made my journey and stuff I can't read Danger Fence? And as it came to pass that as I made my journey and was I was come what uh, I, I'm nearly falling off the cliff but I was come ally N <laughs> what? I can't read that. I cannot read that. Noon? Something about noon. Suddenly, the... Stone? Stone from heaven? A great light. Round about me. I, am I just incredibly bad at reading this, or what? Because it, it, is, it is hard to read. I, I'm mostly guessing, even. Uh, and could not see... I have dredged these waters for the bones of the hermit. For the traces of Donnelly. For any sign of Jacobson's flock. For the empty bottle that would incriminate him. I have scoured this stretch of motorway 21 times, attempting to recreate his trajectory. The point when his heart stopped dead and all he saw was the moon over the Sanford Junction. He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. And it was not his fault. It was the converging lines that doomed him. This is not a recorded natural condition. The gulls do not fly so low over the motorway and cause him to swerve. The paint scored away from his car in lines like an infection, making directly for the heart. Okay. Um. We did not see for the glory that 
that light. That light being led by the hand of the of the what? By the hand of the the nem? Them? Then? I cannot read that. I just cannot read that stuff. I feel like an idiot for it. Uh, that were with me. Hmm. I'm totally missing the entire story it's giving us here, aren't I? Came into. Yeah, I've missed too many sentences. It's not making any sense anymore. Damascus. So the tower is Damascus then. We got our gates, you know. I have run out of places to climb. I will abandon this body and take to the air. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. You've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Yeah. Nothing I can do. Wait, I'm a bird? I could see the shadow of a bird. Why the fuck am I a bird now? Going to the twenty one notes.
Yes. Black screen. Mouse does nothing. Um. Game, were you supposed to do this? I don't like it when games just show me a black screen. <laughs> With nothing I can do. Okay, press escape. Apparently this is the main menu. No, resume game. Now I'm going to hear this, the ocean again. Especially could hear the ocean. So, um... Yeah, you can hear the waves. You can hear the waves hitting the island, but... I am so very confused. Like, that seemed like an ending, right? Yeah, that, that, that seemed like an ending, but... <laughs> there's still resumed game. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm going to be right back to see if this actually was the end or not, or what is going on. Be right back. Alright. So, yeah, this is how the game ends, on a black screen, which is weird. Very weird, in fact, but uh, yeah, that's how it ends. And, uh, wow, how do you give thoughts on something like that? It truly is just a story. It is a story being told, and I I like it. I like it. I'm not normally for all this artsy stuff, though this wasn't too artsy, it's just... Well, I guess it was art, but... Um, yeah, I mean, it tells a story and you're, you know, exploring an island and you're finding these weird things and it keeps it fun, it keeps it interesting and it keeps you wondering and thinking and going, you know, changing your own story and, you know, how that goes. And... Yeah, I mean, I just in the, the, like, the what, the minute or so that I've just, you know, spent looking like, hey, is this actually the ending? Um, yeah, I've just been thinking, and this game is quite gorgeous in, in what, it, what it's trying to say. And I think I get what it's trying, what it's, what its message is, what the story is. But I'm not sure if I should, you know say what I got out of it because I think it might be one of those things where it might be different for everyone though I think it is obvious is it I'm not sure if it's obvious but well, well let's just say like this is what I got out of it or this is what I've what I'm thinking now is that you know obviously it's all to do with a car crash and part of it is that you know I think he's Donnelly or I'm pretty sure he is Donnelly and Esther was Donnelly as well so Esther was probably his wife or his he must must must, must be the wife because she took the name um, yeah so you're Mr. Donnelly uh, I forget the, the name if it was mentioned, but uh, no, it's just always Donnelly. So you're Guy Donnelly. And you were driving along, you got into a car crash with Paul Jacobson, or Jacobson, and you got out with a limp, a uh, leg injury of some sort. You're struggling with that. And Jacobson got out fine. However, Esther died, was cut into a million pieces and it was just not worth repairing even even though they did try probably because they um, 
you know, there were, there were drugs there and, you know, they did try and stop the bleeding is what we saw at one of the shrines, if you can call them that. And our guy obviously suffered by the loss of his wife and he could not deal with it. And he just got lost and drunk and probably hopped up on all kinds of stuff trying to deal with the pain. And, well, the ending is obvious, right? He could not deal with it anymore and he, you know, ended his life. He could not climb anymore. So he found the highest point he could find and jumped off. Now, I'm not sure why he turned into a, a seagull in his mind, but, but yeah, I, I do know. It's just that when I said that, it it's so obvious. He turned into a seagull because he felt free, because he got away from all the grief and the pain of missing his wife. That is That is a gorgeous thing. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really glad I, I went through the story here. Because it's gorgeous. It, it is really worth going through. It really is. And, well, you know, that that's what I got out of it. And I, I'm still thinking, like, what what were all those paintings? If you can call them paintings. The, the, the what I think were molecules. Which may or may not have been molecules. That, um... Yeah. I I have no clue on all that stuff. And all the arrows? No clue. But uh, I'm sure there's meaning behind it. But uh, yeah, the, the story is told in a beautiful way. Truly beautiful. It's very artsy and I, I'm not normally into that. But this is gorgeous. I'm really glad I played through this. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm, I'm actually really curious what you guys got out of it. Do you agree with what I got out of it now? Because by the time I upload this, I may have gotten more out of it or, you know, whatever. may have thought about it more and gotten a different conclusion, but I doubt that. Though maybe a bit more specific than what I'm saying now. But, um, yeah, I'm very curious to hear what you guys uh, think about this. I really am. And as such, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys next time. See you, dudes.